Hey everybody, it's Joe from greenlightsound.com and in the fourth video here of the Fab Filter mixing series, we're going to take a look at the vocal part. If you haven't seen the first three parts of this series, check out the links in the description down below. We've done drums, we've done bass, and we've done guitar and organ. And the basic premise of the series again is the fact that Fab Filter is one of the first plug-in manufacturers to come out and support Apple's new M1 chip and their new operating system. So if you've got a new Mac, a new Apple computer, and you want to start mixing with some third-party plugins, Fab Filter is one of your only options right now. So I'm mixing a whole track using only Fab Filter plugins. Here's what we got so far with the drums, the bass, the guitar, and the organ. So now we're just going to bring in the vocal part here. We'll drop bombs all day and night. It's not going to need a whole lot, I don't think, but the first thing I'd like to do is kind of warm it up a little bit. I'm going to bring Saturn 2 in for some very slight saturation. I'm going to go for some subtle tube, maybe actually subtle saturation here. We'll drop bombs all day and night Till the other one's down and out of sight Go back to tube here. Seems we can't move Here it is without. We'll drop bombs all day and night. And back in. We'll drop bombs all day and night. It's just a little bit of subtle thickening of that vocal. Next, we'll bring in some EQ here. We'll drop bombs all day and night. We'll drop bombs all day. I'm really barely doing anything here. I do want to add some air to the top end. So I have that high shelf up there. And I'm really thinking in three different frequency ranges, 10K, 1K, and 100 Hertz. So I'm bringing out, actually a little bit lower for 100 Hertz, bringing out that body down here, bringing out a little bit of that 1K, I mean 0.63 dB, barely anything, and that high shelf. Next thing I'm gonna do is compress the vocal. So I'll bring in Pro C2 on the vocal part. We're gonna go for a vocal style here. Uh, the attack and release settings are okay for now, and I'll play with that threshold until I get the amount of compression I want. Probably somewhere between three and six dB of compression. We'll drop bombs all day and night. We'll drop bombs. Gotta turn off the auto gain, that really brings that out too much. We'll drop bombs all with the compression in again. We'll drop bombs all day and night. Just a nice leveling of the vocal part. So the next thing I want to do is add a little bit of ambiance or room sound for the vocal. So I'm going to bring Pro R here to my room, vocal room verb channel. And we're going to go for a vocal ambiance here, right down to vocal reflections. 100% mix here. Let's try this one out. Drop bombs all day and night Until the other one's down and out of sight I want a little bit more space out of it, so I'm going to boost this up a little bit. We'll drop bombs all day and night 
So this isn't really a reverb as much as it is just a sense of the vocal being in a space. Here it is without that reflection sound. We'll drop bombs all day and night. And with it. We'll drop bombs all day and night. Extremely subtle there. Next thing we're gonna do is bring in Pro R again on the long reverb channel here. And for this one, we're gonna go with a, actually a medium for this song, hall reverb. So we'll go with medium hall two, 100% mix. Dial that in a bit. We'll drop bombs all day and night. Until the other one's down and out of sight. It seems we can't move on without a friend. And I really don't want this vocal to be overwhelmed by reverb, so I'm just dialing in a little bit here. Now I want to add some delays and send those delays to the reverb. So we'll start with a short delay here. We're going to go with Timeless 2, which is Fab Filters Delay Plugin. And we're going to go to basic short echo here. Echo 1, 100% wet. We'll drop bombs all day and night. Until the other one's down. So I really pushed it up so you can hear what it's doing. We'll drop bombs all day and night. So to soften that delay a bit, we're going to send it to our long reverb. Then I'm going to look at a long delay here. I brought in another copy of Timeless 2. Basic stereo delay here. And I'm going to drag over that send. And I'll dial this one in. We'll drop bombs all day and night. Until the other one's down and out of sight. It seems we can't move. So I don't want this reverb to overwhelm the mix. So what I'm going to do, I can do it within Pro R, but just to make it easy, drag over a Pro Q, cut off that top end, cut off that bottom end. We'll drop bombs all day and night. And that allows the reverb to not swamp out that vocal too much. I don't want the vocal super wet here. Next, let's move on to some background vocals here. These two come at the very end. Let's hear them. Let's hear these other background vocal parts. Bombs all day and night. Until the other one's down and out of sight. So I'm going to treat this entire background vocal part, all six of them, as if they're one vocal and process them on the background vocal A sub here. Bombs all day. Move back to the beginning of this phrase. We'll drop bombs all day and night. Just a tad bit of EQ, some compression here. I'm going to go with sort of the same vocal style compression. Let me get that auto gain off. We'll drop bombs all day and night. Until the other one's down and out of sight. It seems we can't move on with... Just to simplify things, I'm going to actually send this to the lead vocal reverb here. Go with the long verb and the room verb. We'll drop bombs all day and night. Until the other one's down and out of sight. Bring the lead vocal down and level just a little bit. We'll drop bombs all day and night. And the very last thing we have is a bunch of gang vocals here. I'm going to process them all the same. A little bit of processing here on these, a little EQ first. I kind of
kind of want to retain the natural sound. I'm not going to do anything but chop off that low end. Next thing, Pro C2 for some compression. Again, going with her vocal style here. solo up this gang vocal. So I definitely want to give this a little bit more of a sense of space. I'm going to bring Pro R onto the actual channel itself here, not as a send. So I'm going to dial that mix back a little bit. I'm going to dial in some medium space here. And I think lively medium room, it sounds like a good preset. Here's with no reverb. And with. Actually, I want a little bit longer than that. I'll go with like a three quarters of a second. a little bit of a sense of space here. And we'll go back to the middle of the song here. Has no gang vocals in, but just to hear what our vocal mix is sounding like. Empty looks on empty faces With something stolen from my soul One thing I forgot to do on the lead vocal is a little bit of DSing. So what I'm going to do is take that lead vocal, bring in Pro DS here, empty, go with our um, single vocal setting, male wide band. Empty looks on empty faces with something stolen from my soul. Back to another part of the vocal here. We'll drop bombs all day and night until the other one's down in Adam. So the next step in the mix would really be just some automation, some tweaking of a few things on the bus level, but that pretty much covers all of the channel processing that I'd really want to do. So just to give us a sense of where we started from, I'm going to disable all processing. So I click this little button over here in Studio One turns off all plugins and just this this is just the rough mix that we had at the beginning before we did any of the mixing we'll drop bombs all day and, night. and i'll engage that processing we did and here's what we got we'll drop bombs all day and night. i'll turn it on and off here's no processing so the other Back on. Can't move on without a friend. Without. And with. Who's in the wrong? Yeah, who's in the right? Who's in the wrong? Yeah, who's in the right? Who's in the wrong? Yeah, who's in the right? So definitely you get a gain boost out of it, right? Between the bypass state and with the plugins engaged. That's just a result of the saturation, compression, and EQ that we did. It brings out some gain. So there we have it, mixing with Fab Filter plugins. We went through drums in episode one, bass in episode two, guitar and organ in episode three, and finally vocals in episode four. These plugins are fantastic. And if you got an Apple computer with the new M1 chip, you can use these Fab Filter plugins. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next. And I'll see you in the next one.